Welcome back for another episode of Road to Backbreakers, week two. We are in Division One. We're about to face the Scorpions. We are at home. Not the Scorpions from my old channel. This is a backbreaker team, um, not a custom team. So here we go. We found out about them real quick. No scouting report, but I should have did a scouting report. First play from scrimmage, they hit us up. 71-yard touchdown pass. Hippert was chasing. They got away with an offensive pass interference. There was no flag, no call on the field. And we got... We shell shot already. Should have did a scout report on this team just to see who the weapons was. And here we go. We got an answer. Colin Hedges. We start off throwing, and this ball is tipped and is picked off. That looks like the safety. He will take that ball inside the 10-yard line. Wooten. You saw Hedges was hit as he threw it. The tip drill. And then they don't take. They don't waste no time. They go to the end zone. They score the touchdown, but offensive pass interference. They called that one. They didn't call the last one. They should have called both of those. But a flag cannot hold this team back. They do not care. They got a strong tight end. They got strong receivers. We having trouble tackling Manuel Allison with that touchdown reception right there. We missed them. Two players, three players. Couldn't bring them down. So we go down two scores and they get the block punt. Because they shut our offense down. They blocked our punt. They are in scoring range. Look at it again. My punter got folded up. Man, this team got my wave sweating. That led to this field goal to put them up 17-0. to zero. And I hope that's time for us to wake up. Because we're going to be in trouble. Colin Hedges will take this one. Jukes makes a couple miss. Falls a yard short of the first down. Then on the second and 11, Hedges scanning the field. Looking downfield to Davin Coop, our new tight end. Under through, but it was perfect. And he can run a little bit. Cooper inside the 10. Five touchdown for Cooper. 62-yard touchdown. Now, if he can do that, we got some we got some talent on this team. The defense comes out. Mitchell Osman gets us an interception. He breaks a tackle. He's inside the five. Down to the goal line. Stop right at the one that was set up. Darius Anderson from the one-yard line. And we cut this lead down just like that. The defense keeping us in it. A third down play. We get them off the field. Look at it again. They tried to swing it out. Hunter Kastner, Dell, Mitchell Osmond was chasing. So Hedges, can you give us this lead? Looking downfield to Stezo Woods. And he couldn't bring it in. One-on-one -on -one coverage. So Hedges scanning. Looking at the tight end. Missed him. Got to give it back. And on a third down, the Scorpions fumbled the ball. Isaiah Hippert on the recovery, and we are taking this one back. Look at the replay. The ball came out. Looked like his arm was going forward. Don't care. Offense out on the field. Looking downfield to Dalton Hendricks. You already know he's too strong for any safety. You can't cover him one-on-one. -on -one. Dalton Hendricks, 48-yard touchdown reception. Colin Hedges. Making a couple of plays. Let's go. Third and nine. We are on defense. We need to get them off the field. They have a screen set up, and we do. They stop them from five, and they will punt it away to Artavis Brown. Don't you touch that ball, and he did. Oh, my goodness, and they recovered. Not only did they recover, they pick it up, and they about to run it to the end zone. Nobody there to get them. 30-yard fumble recovery. Look at it again. Man shouldn't have been that close to the ball it was no way but the extra point was blocked by brown so we still can drive down kick a field goal and take the lead oh, colin hedges will find stezzo woods on the sideline accidentally went to a hurry up offense fort and two should we play with this team like that we should just call timeout but we're gonna go for it we roll the dice there is anderson and he gets the first down and more breaks out of the pack stumbling anderson got a convoy Blocking everything shy of the 20 yard line 43 yard gain. So Hedges looking towards the end zone We got too greedy picked off by the defense. It was double coverage. They had they had the high low on them Up and under coverage man. You shouldn't that was a bad decision bad decision Defense can you bail me out? They complete a pass right here to the tight end. That's for 15 look at it again He went up in traffic and got that ball Help this QB out. Here we go. They take this one from the gun. They will throw it downfield and it's picked off by Isaiah Hippert. His first interception of the game, he already have a fumble recovery. Look at it again. 
he went up and snatched that one out the air. I think another player would have got it if he didn't go for it. Third and 19 from the gun. Hedges will get picked off. We had the coverage we wanted. And he underthrew the ball. Picked off by the linebacker. That was the coverage. Look at the replay. Cooper had a step on him. All he had to do is put it out in front of him. And, they give the, and we give the ball back to the Scorpions where they have a 12-yard run with seconds remaining in the first half. They kicked a long field goal that fell short. Ryan Hine will field it. Looks like we're going to try to get a return, but no, made it move too fast. One second remaining. We bring in Alexander McLucky to throw one deep downfield, even though this is real dangerous. And Caden Ashmore came down with it. We go into the half, 23 to 21, down a couple. Second half, there is Anderson picks up some blocks, making moves, gets his first down, knocked out of bounds. 15 yard gain, then we hand it off. Dalton Hendricks getting some blocking, tripped up. Eight yard gain, Anderson again. This time, ooh, stumbling, but man, that should have been a big run. We will hand it off again to Anderson, and he gets out of the pack this time, has blocking with him on the right sideline. Stop, but trip up. 19 yard gain. Then we go for the kill shot. Oh my loin. One on one coverage is Chris Loin, and he pulls it in. 29 yard touchdown reception for Loin. Look at it again. We will run it back one more time, body him up. One on one coverage. We got to win some of those two point conversions to make it a six point game, and we get it. So. This is a ball game. They find their tight end again across the middle. He picks up 16 this time. Cardenas will hand it off to the running back. He picks up nine. That was Lambert. Now, big third down, and we stop them. Short of the first, but they go for it on fourth. It is fourth and two. What would they do? Look like they got the first down, but they didn't give him forward progress. That was a bad call by the ref. But I'm not complaining because this team, they good. They good. We get back on the offense, and it is a disaster of a run. Lost nine yards on that carry, so we put the ball in Hedge's hand. We don't want it right there, but he threw a perfect pass to Woods, and he didn't pull it in. So that puts us in third and 19, right where we don't want to be, and we get sacked fourth and 30. Yes, ran right into the defender. We get back on defense, they pitch it out, we get them in the backfield, third and 12 now, they run draw and we stop them. And that will set up a long field goal, they knocked that one through, 52 yard field goal from McCullough, he's happy about it, I don't blame him. They cut this lead down to three, we are in the ball game and we lost the football. Darius Anderson looked like he fumbled it for the first time, but no, it wasn't him, that was uh, Hedges. He didn't even get the ball. Look at it again. Hendricks got in the way. Had this. And look at this. We get them. Drew them off sides. So we get the five yard. It is third and 15. We are not putting the ball in the air. Darius Anderson picks up a yard. We punt it away. And it's a good punt. That brings them inside the 20. He will turn it upfield got as many yards as he can and here we go on the attack the scorpions threw a pick cardenas and it is teddy harris who on the pick that puts us back on the offense there is anderson one yard gain we're gonna try to melt this clock down a little bit they're not letting us get too much on the gun on the ground but we will take this three points it is up and it is no good we missed the field goal man so they are still in this. You think this game is over? It's not. You got to watch it. Right now on defense, we stopped him for four yards. Oh, he threw a hot potato. We should have picked that one off right there. Third down. Can we get them off the field? And we do. He was inaccurate. So we go back on the rushing attack. We try to keep this clock moving. We running the ball. Anderson picks up the first down. Tough running. Six yard gain. Anderson again. This time broke one. Picks up a first and more. Anderson will stay. The clock did keep running. Down to the two minute warning. There we go with Hendricks. Could have wish he would have stood on his feet. That was five. Hendricks again picks up five more. And then we will make the easy field goal, which didn't look so easy. That was from 43 yards, but it barely got in there, man. Our kicker is weak. So 
You thought we had this one in the bag, but no, we, oh man, we gave up a big one. And Kasna is chasing, chasing, chasing. Touchdown, saving, tackle. Knocked him out of bounds. 55 yard gain. We got three defenders underneath the wide receiver. Why did three defenders underneath the route is beyond me. So they are right at the goal at the five yard line for the win. And no, Isaiah Hipper with the interception. And we will clinch. We will take this game, man. Look at it again. Roderick Moore with the pressure forced him to throw that ball early. Hippard came up with the pick and now for the most painful play in all of football, the kneel down. Colin Hedges, 5 of 13, 173 yards, three touchdowns, three picks. And we're gonna let this clock run down. Not gonna chance it, it's too risky. And while the clock is running down, I wanna let y'all know, I appreciate y'all for taking our time out to watch this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Share with your friends if you think they'll like this backbreaker video. And I will see y'all in the next episode, man. We got more highlights after this. We're going to go through the stats, talk about it a little bit. 1-0. The clock has ran out. That is the final score, 32-26. to 26. We didn't get the defensive MVP, but you look at the stats. 159 yards passing, 124 on the ground. Anderson got most of that. You look at Hedges' numbers. Sack four times, which is better than normal. Uh... Anderson carried most of the load, 21 carries, over 100 yards. Couldn't get Hendricks going on the ground. These stats are going real fast, I know, so y'all have to go back and pause that if you want to check that out. Look at the bonus we got. We didn't get the defensive bonus because they got defensive player of the year. And I mean, of the game. Week three, we are facing the Lightning. Another team never played them before, so I don't know nothing about them. But let's talk about this team. We clearly have some some holes. We was tested this game. The Lightning are two and zero. Oh. They are a rushing team. They like to blitz. Huh? That's gonna be interesting. They like to blitz. So if they take away our running game, that means the ball gonna be in Hedges' hands most of the time, where I don't want it to be. That, that could be a disaster of a game. Uh, but what did y'all see? What position we need to go after next? We got like seven, a little more than $7,000. 7000 um, We won't be able to get nobody until we pick up at least fourteen to $15,000. Because I just go after gold stars. I don't try to get no silvers. Uh, probably gonna see in these highlights we get a lot of pressure from the right side my right tackle right guard both of those uh, both of those need to be replaced to be honest but I replaced the right tackle in division two and he just didn't turn out to be what I paid for it's it's not it wasn't a good purchase that wasn't a good signing at all and I can't there ain't no trades in world tobacco breaker so I can't get rid of them um, corner is the reason why I want to get a corner because I want to use I want to use nickel primarily the whole game because I want to put Hippert in a slot and use him like a third safety because he's a good ball hawk he will he will he will make some plays he's always around the ball that's how I want to use him um, but I need a man corner who can play man to man as, at least one um, we got decent amount of pressure in this game. I'm not going to mess with the defensive line just yet. I'm not mad at them. Not a, the, the kick return. Special teams? Oh, boy. I got, I feel like I got sucked into that punt return. I was like thinking about taking it, then I didn't want to take it. But once the ball got too close, it's like they pulled me into it. And he fumbled. But Brown, Brown could make plays if I get him going north and south. But the fact, the thing is, these teams are so fast, I can't really get him north and south. And we're not blocking good, so I'm, I need a return man that's real special. I gotta look into that. And on, on the offensive side, as far as weapons, I think we have enough weapons. I wish Woods would uh, catch the ball. He have a lot, a lot of drops. Mm, I'm thinking, I don't know, man. I'm at the 
move Woods and maybe put him in a slot and try something else with him. But other than that, leave me comments. Let me know what you think.